hey what is going on everyone this would be just a quick little short informational video on ssl how it works how you can use one so you as a web developer surely have heard about https and might have deployed websites using https as well but do you know what exactly are you doing here and why the hell is https so secure and everyone is going nuts about it these days well if we take a look at https what it does first of all is it allows encrypted communication that means anyone who's intercepting a communication between me and let's say a bank server cannot access what we are transferring to each other well that sounds funny and cool but how does it really work under the hood well you see you as a web developer what you do is you get a certificate a certificate for your website right and when you get that particular certificate you sign it with a certificate authority a certificate authority you can say is a powerful person you can assume which just resides in your computer and says to your browser yes the certificate is valid or maybe no the certificate is not valid just reject it if yes you see this lock here and the green symbol and chrome goes well yeah this site is secure just go ahead and make your transactions if no you see that horror red page of google chrome saying that the site is insecure do not proceed forward right so once you have that certificate consider this as a password right so as a public password rather so what happens is your server your server right here says to your computer your own computer well this is a public password just use this to encrypt your data and communicate with me right you on your computer your browser encrypts it using your using the password which server sent and from there onwards the server can decrypt your data using the private password it has and from there onwards that communication is encrypted so far so good but you might ask me hey mehul what happens if the initial communication that is the first the public password is intercepted well you see there's no real harm here the first thing you might you might think that an attacker might sit in the middle and replace the server's public password with his own right but remember that public password is actually a trusted password right so your attacker an attacker cannot really generate a public password in our case that's a certificate a public password for your particular domain without actually owning that domain right so if an attacker does not own that domain he cannot generate a public password for that domain that means a certificate because he cannot make the certificate authorities sign that particular certificate for him make sense so what happens is that if you own this domain let's say if i own this let's encrypt.org i can create a certificate for it i have to prove to certificate authorities that yes i own this domain and then they would they would sign that certificate and from that point onwards i can send that certificate from my server to my users which are using my website and their certificate authorities which are installed offline on their systems that come with their browsers would actually verify through that certificate authority whether it's perfectly signed for that particular domain or not right it's, this sounds complicated but it's really fun so in a nutshell that is how pretty much ssl is working now i have skipped a lot of details but this is a basic working of ssl on internet so i hope you guys know now that how ssl works what you are exactly doing when you're using https and by the way if you want to implement https the certificate authority kind signing kind of process was paid back in the days like five six years ago but now with certificate authorities being more lenient let's encrypt is a service which provides completely free i won't say automated at the moment you can manually do it as well but it's completely free and open certificate authority that means your browser google chrome trusts certificates signed by this website and it's free right so it's a win-win why won't you use https now i don't really know unless you are on a shared hosting where you cannot access 
um, you know, server configuration where you're completely messed up with PHP and you cannot access HTA access or uh, you have a ton of limitations, I don't really get why won't you use HTTPS on your website. So let's encrypt this away. Depending upon your tech stack, it really varies how you want to install a HTTPS certificate on your website. If you're using Nginx, there are automated tools with the language specific if you go language specific like node has inbuilt systems with express php you have to use a bash .hta access files stuff like that but it's pretty much straightforward let's encrypt makes it super easy to um basically just protect the internet and by the way this is not really a sponsored video i just i just randomly thought of spreading some knowledge right here right so yeah that's pretty much it if you have any questions regarding ssl tls how HTTPS works what it means pretty much i have explained but if you still have any doubts do let me know in the comments below and i'll be happy to answer them see you soon